Today I am glad to introduce you Android Folder for KitKat in an exclusive preview. So basically this is just the official released source code compiled by Paranoid Android team. So let's explore this new system. First of all, the one thing you will see is that the new launcher is quite different. The navbar and the status bar are now transparent. And this is because of a new full screen API in Android 4.4 that basically allows developers to make real full screen in a similar way to this you see here. So, um, you see we have just one page and if we swipe right we have Google Now if it is configured and if we want to add more pages we just have to move an app to the side and a new page is created. You see here since this page only contains one element we cannot create a new screen we have to do this before. So that people don't create blank on screens. This may be bad for someone that likes to create blank home screens. I personally don't like them so it's fine for me. And one, not, one more interesting thing is that the default page is the first one. So if we move this here and we press the home button, the default page is the first page. And this is kind of strange because it's not like we are used to on Android. So the drawer is pretty simple. It is no, it is semi-transparent. Let's you see the wallpaper, and the icons are really close to them, and the icons are actually bigger. And we do not have the tabs on the top. We do not have the widgets tab. So to add widgets we have to long press on the screen and then we have to press here, widgets. And we have a similar interface to Jelly Bean Ice Cream Sandwich, so we have a widget drawer. Nothing much has changed here. If we long press we can also select the wallpaper. Here we have the default wallpapers and the live wallpapers. And at last we have the default wallpaper so if I press here I have the again the wallpaper app of the AOSP launcher that is installed as well on this preview so this was the launcher now the, the dealer you see the dealer is kind of different actually it is completely different you see if we tap here we can, uh, we can now write the name of the contact we want, to, we want to call. But if we want to insert the number we have to press this button here and a screen similar to the classic dealer pops out. You see, it's really nice because I said that probably Android was going to have a lighter interface and my dream was actually accomplished. So you see here the dealer is now a hololite guy and this is really nice. If we want to see the history, we have to press this button here that is not actually that convenient, but I suppose I'm going to get used to it. If we go here, we have the usual settings. We have import export, new contact, that is a new nice options, option. All contacts and settings that basically have kind of the same settings as jelly bean and ice cream sandwich. So, now we're going to the settings. You see here the settings are quite a bit different. You see the top bar here is solid and we have kind of the same settings, except we have something new. We have a home page that lets us choose the default home screen app. Then we have touch and pay that is basically kind of evolution of Google Wallet. I live in Italy and it, I don't think this is supposed to work in my country so if I press more info it just doesn't work. Moreover we have print, the print option but we have no service installed yet for printing. I suppose they have to install QuickOffice 
or Google Drive to make this work. And I will probably make another video to focus specifically on this part, maybe in the future when KitKat comes out. You see here when we go to system information, we can see the number model that is uh, <laughs> AOSP on Maco and Android version that is 4.4 and this is the easter egg, if we long press this we have the new easter egg it's actually kind of nice nothing much really, oh what's this? oh nice oh this is actually a preview of what the full screen will be I've never seen that this before so um, scroll from the top to the bottom to exit full screen mod okay so actually kind of a game we have the new we can see the new full screen mod you see this is disabled and we, we can just press home button to get back to home we have the notification bar here and this is really nice for games because now you can just scroll from here twice and you have your notification bar with your notifications and quick settings it's really nice okay guys that's it this is all the new stuff in Android 4.4 KitKat I hope you enjoyed this video please press the like button if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video